Do you guys remember the SwiftKey keyboard? It was one of the best keyboards available on Android ecosystem a few years ago. But then Google came out with its Gboard and Samsung keyboard got a lot better and SwiftKey kind of got lost in all of these keyboards. And I personally started using Google Gboard a lot. But lately I've started using Samsung keyboard, which got a lot better over the years. But a few days ago, I revisited SwiftKey keyboard because it has been a long time and I just wanted to know what is happening with SwiftKey because it got bought up by Microsoft. There must be something cool happening. And let me tell you, with Microsoft SwiftKey keyboard, you don't need any other keyboard on your phone if you're using an Android. It has so many features that it can replace both Google Gboard and Samsung keyboard in one go. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the SwiftKey keyboard. It looks like any other keyboard, but straight away you will notice that we have Copilot built into it. And if I tap on it, you can launch a fully featured Copilot app in this keyboard. So there you go. Now you can use ChatGPT4 in SwiftKey keyboard and ask it anything that you want. Now here you can see that there is a search option here as well. There is a tone option here as well. So you can change the tone of your text and there is a compose section here as well. Now let me talk about these two settings here in more detail. So if I go back, you will see this button here. If I tap on it, it takes me to editor. Here you get tone and you get compose. Now this is the new Galaxy AI feature that Samsung has launched on its keyboard, the new compose section where you can compose the whole text with just one prompt. It's all available on SwiftKey as well and it's better here. Let me show you how. Now here I have written two lines. I've made some spelling mistakes here as well. Let me show you how this editor works here. So if I go in editor, tap on this button, it will go through the text and it will look for any corrections that it can make. So now it is checking for grammar, spelling and punctuation in this text automatically. You don't need to do anything. Just write your text and take it to editor and it will correct any grammar, spelling or punctuation that needs to be corrected. And then you can just tap on this replace button and it will be replaced. But then comes the fun part. You can go in tone and it will analyze the text. And then just wait for a moment and there you go. Now you have all these different tones that you can use. We have professional, casual, polite, it is funny, social post and witty. Now let's go to the next section, which is the really fun part. And the fun isn't over yet. After this, there are more things that you can do with AI on this keyboard. It's so much packed with AI features that you just can't believe it. So stay tuned. Now here I've already written some text. Early morning is the most important time of the day to be productive. What do you think? It's already here. Now you can write about it. You can create the whole text that you want to create. You can be professional about it. You can be casual, enthusiastic, informational, funny, but then there is more flexibility here. You can add more stuff here. It's not fixed like it's in Samsung keyboard. You can add more tones. So I want this to be sarcastic. I'm going to add it. What do I want? Paragraph, email, ideas, a blog post, whatever it is that you want. And then you can select length, short, medium, long. Let's go with the long. And now you can go with generate draft. So I'm going to do that. And now it will create a blog post, a long blog post for me with AI. And it's really fast, as you can see. Still going. So there it is. You have all this text generated by SwiftKey keyboard with just tap a few buttons. And then it gives you some more options down there. What are some effective morning routines? Do you have any tips for night owls to be productive? So if these are the things that you want more text about, you can do that as well. If you don't like this, just tap on this button and it will redo it and recreate the text for you. Now, once it's done, just copy it and go back and post it. So this one keyboard gives you all of these things where you have your copilot, your editor, you can change the tone, you can create blog posts, emails, text, whatever you want, all in one place and it works very well. Now this is not the end. There are a couple more really cool features that will blow your mind. So let's talk about them. Let's say I want to add some emoji here. Now if I go in emojis, 
you will see this button here this is Microsoft designer so you can go in here and you can create any image so let's add a prompt and then it will generate an image using Microsoft designer this is something you can also do in copilot as well but there is a designer option separate in the emoji tab and there you go powered by DALI and there it is our cat eating the pasta and now the last thing that I want to talk about which is even more fun than this is this meme section here you can create AI memes in SwiftKey keyboard as well so if you're looking for a specific meme about a specific topic you can create it right in here so let's think of a topic that you want to create a meme about so I'm gonna select this and let's wait for it to create a meme so there you go I added a prompt and it has come back with memes now you can play with this obviously I didn't get any better ideas right now but you can create memes using just AI and it will come up with something it will add text to it and it can be really helpful in times when you want a really specific particular meme now tell me what other keyboard has all of these features baked in for free Galaxy AI on Samsung keyboard is free for a year according to Samsung unless they change their mind and then that feature is going to be paid all of this in SwiftKey is free and hopefully it stays free because this is back to being my favorite keyboard now I'm using this keyboard a lot more than any other keyboard out there so that's about it from this video guys these were all the great features that are baked into SwiftKey keyboard let me know what you guys think which keyboard you are using what features are important to you and I will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye